Hey y'all, Tracy here from Tham 141 and today we're going to do some plowing. This is from the storm last week. Uh, this is the second day uh, and it is just coming down crazy. I plowed about a foot the day before and then this is in the morning I ended up going out again. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that little notification bell so that you get notified every time I come out with new content. Now this is just the little patch behind the house, between the woodshed and the house. And it's kind of tight in here, which is my own fault because, well, I leave stuff laying where I use it a lot of times. I shouldn't do that on a homestead you should pick up. This snow, the first snow of the year, caught me by surprise in the middle of November. And I got to tell you, it just wasn't good. Uh, I only had a few things I had to pick up, but... I'm actually really impressed with this snow pusher. This snow pusher on the Branson uh, 2515H is, is really doing good. It's a seven foot snow pusher. Uh, most of the time I push in low gear unless I'm on cleaning, clean up, which you'll see a little bit later. I have some problems every once in a while you'll see I have to raise the snow pusher in order to have the tires turn it the front tires turn it but I think I've taken care of that I have some snow chains that I can put on now that just came in the UPS guy didn't want to deliver them but I got him to deliver them Actually, I chased him down, and he was, I don't know, about three or four miles away when I finally caught up to him because I can track when he's, where he's at. And he said, oh, I would have called you if there would have been a phone number on the package. Well, I said, you mean that phone number? And he said, well, I just didn't want to get stuck. And he said, nobody wants to get stuck. I said, but I got a tractor. I can pull you out, I said, and they, they deliver there all the time. Anyway, I can understand the guy not wanting the hassle of getting stuck. But it kind of makes me wonder what the delay was the first day they were supposed to deliver my tire chains. You'll notice I fight with this glove a lot. It keeps pushing off. Yeah, this is just cleaning a path so I can get to the solar panels and around the garden to the chickens to let them in and out throughout the winter. They start coming out pretty good as you know as the winter goes on they're all in molt right now so I don't get a lot of eggs unfortunately that glove you'll see me fighting with that glove uh, for some reason it doesn't want to stay on that hand now you're gonna see a real genius at work Notice the ladder that's right in front of the tractor getting buried. I did get it unburied and moved, but only a genius would do that. Now it, it is really tight in here and, and this tractor allows me to push the piles back and have more control than the truck plow would. I wouldn't even try to get the truck in there. And now I'm just cleaning it up. 
that line you see going in the house there is a water line that goes from the totes into the house system for the summer and I've got my grapple there set leaning on a stump so I can pick it up easier and I don't have to worry about the uh, the links for the skid steer I don't have to worry about the links for the skid steer quick connects getting full of ice and snow and this is the first long stretch that I have to do and and that snow gets out there a good 10 feet in front of the pusher and you can see it's at least a foot high at the bank on the right probably 16 inches high And I just try to push things in as straight a line as possible. That was Trevor's contribution, he said, because I do have a problem turning once you get a lot of snow in the pusher, which is not a, not a big issue. Again, the, the ground is not frozen. I do have, at this time, a decent base made, which makes things a lot easier. The skids are down all the way, or some people call them feet. On a plow, they're called feet. Uh, but they're down all the way, so I will make a good base here in the beginning of the winter. Again, it's just so awesome to be able to put the piles up and over. Now I'm on the main drag, the seasonal road, and I'm just gonna go down more on through the middle because it, it's gonna leave a furrow on either side anyway. And so I might as well, the furrow will come out pretty much when I hit the sides. But I'm just gonna, as Trevor suggested, keep going straight. And when I come to a turn, I'll just push it straight off the turn. This keeps me from having to make micro adjustments and, and cause every time you want to make an actual turn, you have to lift the, the pusher just a little bit. And that leaves more snow on. This road I have to be quite attentive to because the snowmobilers will pack it all down and that, that can make it hard to plow. The groomers come through, they don't bother me much because they actually lay a good foundation down that the plow at least would take care of. Now with the plow, I could get, a, get up some decent speed, angle the plow, go down through uh, one side, and then come back through the other side, and it would throw the snow off to the sides, which, which was really nice, and it was a lot faster. However, I have more control, I'm learning, with the tractor and the snow pusher. This is a Branson 2515H, stands for hydro, hy, hydrostatic transmission, with a seven foot snow pusher on it. And as you can see here, I am in low gear, but she is pushing some serious snow. Coming up to the driveway on the right from the 
the young couple that is going to be putting a trailer in. You can tell this is some packy snow by a glance at the front tires. Interesting to see how well this does once I get my tire chains put on. I'm not going to put them on until I need them. And again, I can push the piles back so far. And then you can shake off most of the snow. Same as you would empty out your bucket. And here, if I go any farther to the right, uh, it gets really soft. You get off the gravel. There's supposed to be a ditch there. I keep cleaning out the ditch, and because of the construction, it, it keeps getting plowed into, driven into, and, and flattened out. Uh, so I've always had a problem with water on the road here and ice, but I can take care of that fairly easy with the tractor now. A few years ago, it washed out pretty good. Now I'm headed back towards the homestead here, and you can see on the right where it drops off a little bit, and it is really, really swampy. Once you get off the gravel of the road, you are, you're there. <laughs> and now where I'm at here, on the left side of the road, it's the same thing. You don't want to get far off the road. And you can see where there's, uh, where I, I had to raise the plow a little bit um, but that the cleanup I can do in the second gear right now I'm in the low gear the A gear oh I'm coming back yeah I, I had already gone past the homestead at this point and I'm on my way back that is my driveway there now this is a spot that with the truck I have been stuck so many times because you try to push the bank back just like this but your front tires of the truck just slip right into the right off the road and into the ditch and that's no fun the amount of times well you could see my old videos where I had to pull out the, the uh, come along the hand come along and hook it to that tree on the left with the poster sign on it that kept me in shape but I don't need to be in that kind of shape and now I'm just widening out the road a little still in low gear here right now I have the skids uh, the boots I guess you would call them on a plow uh, on either end down all the way because I want to leave a base so I'm not trying to push them on dirt all the time and the snowmobilers you know I mean that little bit's not really gonna hurt them a lot but but I like to leave a, a good base for the snowmobilers. The snowmobile clubs have never complained or anything. Now here I'm at the snowplow turnaround and headed back and I put it in the B gear again uh, in the mid gear. I have three gears. Uh, I think I've only been in the high gear once. And that was just to see how fast I would go 
but in the in the mid gear it does save a lot of gas you move a lot faster but it does not have the power that the low gear has we're getting a lot of snow still and here I'm turning around to because I left I had to lift the pusher up right in here uh, so that I could steer uh, because there's logs and stuff in the snowbank to the right so I just want to scrape that up what I can I want to learn to position my camera better and now we're in cleanup mode getting rid of the furrow that's going down the middle of the road there okay I pulled to the side a little must have left some there Guys, there is a playlist that I will put up in the corner uh, for the Branson tractor. Um, it shows you some of the work I do with the Branson tractor. It is a 2515H. And uh, H is for hydrostatic transmission, uh, but it's on the larger chassis uh, for a, a 25 horsepower engine. And it, I am very happy with it so far. this channel and then while you're at it go ahead and hit that ye little yellow notification bell so that you get notified every time I come out with a new video the homestead's got something for everybody uh, whether it's gardening or snow removal or moving stumps clearing land doing firewood chainsaws UTVs off-grid we are 100% off-grid here uh, we do have propane service where they come fill our propane tanks uh, once or twice a year depend depending uh, but but we make all of our own electricity whether it be with the thousand watts of solar power that feeds four 200 amp hour amp ampere time batteries or uh, whether it's a generator that runs off gasoline uh, I have two generators so check us out we've got something for everybody we even do cooking uh, cooking on a wood stove cooking outside canning outside we've done we've got videos on canning over an open fire that was fun that was something that uh, Wendy uh, got me into she said let's try it and it worked great So hey y'all, I'm going to go ahead and in this video, uh, there will be a video uh, to your right and a playlist to your left. If you haven't already, go ahead and click one of those and watch those. I really appreciate it. Uh, and be ready. In February, on February 8th, we'll have a live stream and we're going to be doing a Wendy's birthday giveaway again this year. Uh, Wendy might have passed, but her giveaway goes on. All right, y'all have a great day.
and God bless.